Eden's Living TV coming to you this morning. I want to give y'all a really great food list to detox. It is so important right now if you're not detoxing with all the chemtrailing and the GMO modification and your petroleum-based pharmacia. Guys, you've got to detox the mind and body if you want it to work properly and hydrate it. So I am a naturopathic life coach. People do come to me with their health issues. And the first thing I can tell people is get your gut healthy, start drinking spring water, movement, get sunshine, fresh air, and let's detox the liver and get the organs detoxed and functioning. So some really great foods, and I'll go over them quickly, things like apples and artichokes, anything really, you know, fruits and vegetable-wise, uh, bananas, beetroot, uh, beetroot's great for your liver function, berries, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, cranberries, dandelion, you want to cleanse that liver out, do dandelion tea, get out if you haven't sprayed your yard, and pick dandelions and put it in your salad. You can eat the flowers, they're going to be bitter, but let's clean a blood purifier and liver detox through those dandelions. God gave you these things every spring, he wants you to do a cleaning of your mind and body. Cabbage, carrots, cranberries, dandelions, fennel, flaxseed, garlic is really good. Garlic will remove parasites. It will fight viral infections. It can lower your blood pressure. All the, all you guys on pharmaceutical uh, graphinated pharmacia, as I call it, you can lower the blood pressure by hawthorn berry, garlic, so many natural ways. Lemons are great to alkalize the blood and help cleanse the liver. Again, we're trying to cleanse the liver and move your lymphatics. Onions are really good for cleaning your lungs during this vid vid season. Everybody respiratory, coughing, pollen season. You know, think of natural ways to address and support your body. There are two reasons why you're sick. You're malnourished and you're toxic, which means you're inflamed. Pumpkin seeds are a great way to reduce inflammation and pumpkin seeds also kill parasites. So if you want to really revamp your health, you know, I spent two and a half years to lose 150 pounds. I was bedridden 25 years. I was on Oxycontin at 380 milligrams. I kind of have an idea of struggles in life, have severe complex post-traumatic stress. So I'm learning to calm my nervous system down, to cut narcissistic people out of my life. You are the five people you hang around. You are the food that you put in your body, your temple. If you aren't feeding your body fuel, nutrition how do you expect your cognitive to even you know perform so be careful of tomatoes i want to go over this list i was looking and mushrooms if you've been exposed to like mold be careful of eating mushrooms and tomatoes is a nightshade plant and can cause a lot of if you have a lot of um like fibromyalgia issues which i need to do a whole new thing on fibromyalgia uh, Y'all, you need to detox. You can get that under control. Fibromyalgia is also um, a whole lot to do with frequency-driven warfare, and I'm going to be addressing that at a later date. Walnuts will help the inflammatory issues and also help your skin. And then watercress nuts are a great blood purifier and helps diuretic properties. So all y'all on Lasix and all this, you can naturally go to nature to get the diuretic properties you need. So... Those are a list of foods. I didn't go over a lot of these. I didn't go into detail. But if you really want to address the inflammation and you want to, you know, liver detox and purify your blood, this is a really good way to do it. And lay off the sugar. If you can lay off sugar and really if you can water fast 30 days, your skin will look amazing and you'll reset your whole metabolism. So here's the detox food list that I want y'all to do. I'm not giving any um, personal advice. If you want personal help, you can inbox me or you can email me at EdensLivingTV at Gmail. We can set up consultations. If you're interested in doing ITR therapy, I'm getting trained. I'm halfway through the certification. I am going to be certified to work with trauma patients. So that being said, detox, hydrate, move. Breathe fresh air. Get 20 minutes of sunshine. If you could, you know, sun gaze early in the morning and at sunset to get that energy. You are an electrical being. You need salt in your diet. Great Celtic salt is what I use. And guys, you really need to pay attention to your surroundings and nutritionally support your mind because your mind's a computer. 
And if it's bombarded by chemicals all day and you're not detoxing, you're not hydrating, you're not getting fresh air and you're not moving, you're going to be in a cognitive fog, probably going to be anxious and depressed. And the first step of that <laughs> is getting right spiritually, but detoxing the mind and the body. Love y'all. Y'all have a great day. You can heal one bite, one thought, one prayer at a time. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. You set your intentions.